we're in for another storm, as you've been talking yep. about. And Karen, you've been looking into exactly what that means, and you can kind of break it down more for us. Yeah, a little bit more of everybody's kind of wondering what happens when you get the northern lights, right? And we're in for another show tonight as those northern lights will be visible as far south as Alabama and as far south even as northern California. So we are going to see those northern lights continuing into tonight and even a possibility of tomorrow too. If you haven't seen them from your backyard tonight, you'll have that chance as another severe level geostorm is affecting Earth. Solar cycles average about 11 years, and we're ramping up to the peak of this cycle. This particular cycle is quite active with at least 50 X-class flares within the last five years. However, 46 of those flares have happened within the last year alone. Solar flare classifications begin as an A-class, the weakest flare classification with barely any noticeable effect to Earth. The strongest classification is the one we're currently experiencing. This is an X-class solar flare. These cause radio blackouts worldwide and long-lasting radiation storms. Within each of these classifications are levels between 1 to 9. The higher the number, the stronger the flare. Tuesday night, an X-1 flare originated from the central portion of the sun. This coronal mass ejection, or CME, traveled towards Earth at roughly 2.5 million miles per hour. At 10.49 this morning, it finally reached Earth's Discover satellite, which is located about 1 million miles away from Earth. 30 minutes later, that CME reached Earth's atmosphere. Bill Murtock, forecaster with the Space Weather Prediction Center, explains what happens next. So the eruption occurs it's a, it's a blast of a million tons of plasma gas and magnetic field that gets shot out into space. And it's coming towards Earth, or at least some of it is. It takes a couple of days to get here. It hits Earth's magnetic field. The two magnetic fields couple the magnetic field that was in that cloud, this coronal mass ejection, and the Earth's magnetic field. And those energetic particles come flowing in to the high latitudes, interact with the Earth's atmosphere, triggering the beautiful light show, the northern lights. And of course, in the southern tier, in the southern hemisphere, the uh, southern lights as well. Anytime we get that level of storming, the folks in Michigan are going to see the northern lights. So Sean Dahl, another forecaster for the Space Weather Prediction Center, says the way CMEs impact Earth is similar to an approaching cold front, very weather related. You'll get that strong in initial shock like that of a blast of a wind but then it takes a little while for those cold temperatures to arrive and that's kind of the same thing here we take a little while to see the strongest part of the magnetic cloud to settle over earth therefore on a scale from one to five and five being extreme the rate of this geostorm has reached the severe level level g4 and while we haven't had any confirmed disruptions yet, we will continue to see the effects of this geostorm even into tomorrow. And that includes being able to see the northern lights. All, All right. right. So we'll have more chances show. if we don't see it tonight. But yeah. fingers crossed. I think your best chance is still tonight with the clearer skies. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll be out there looking. Thank you, Karen. No problem. <laughs>